A wood stick is about one meter, three to four feet long, with an easy, easily visible tip and bait on the tip. The trainer moves the tip, causing the animal's gaze to follow it as directed by the shoot director. Trainer shall be approximately three meters or 10 feet away from the animal. As an animal actor, the actor may sometimes be directed to look in a certain direction, right? Look left or right, possibly to get that right photo shoot look, or possibly to um, seemingly react to another actor on the stage, right? Someone talks and we want the animal's face to look over there and then to look over there. So how do we direct the dog's gaze? How do we get him to move his head back and forth? In the animal acting industry, we use something called a look stick. And a look stick is a long pole with usually a treat on the end. So we're gonna practice with Kimba. I can stand far back. Kimba, go step up. And notice how the look stick causes her head to move left and move right. Move down and move up. Good, once she has performed well, we go in and allow her to take the treat from the look stick. It's important that we allow the animal to take the treat from the look stick rather than giving them the treat from our treat bag because we really want that interest to be on the look stick. Now there are different ways that you can create a look stick and every set trainer tends to have their own uh, special stick that they use, but it's generally a long pole, maybe a meter, three to four feet long has some sort of um, way to attach the treat on the end and often will have a unique identifier on it, a special ball or a rubber duck or something that the animal learns is his own look stick. Now, why do we need that special little rubber duck or ball? Well, it might be that in the scene, there are three dogs lined up. One needs to look left, one needs to look right, one needs to look straight. So there will be three set trainers each with their look stick, and each dog is trained for his special look stick, and he knows to look for the red ball or the rubber duck. So three different set trainers can train the dog in three different ways. Now this stick here is just a, um, a bamboo pole, and it actually has a plastic fork attached to the top of it. Um, the plastic is one of those cheap plastic forks that are very bendy, they aren't sturdy, because I don't want anything that's going to accidentally poke Kimba when I give her the treat. I have a couple more examples of look sticks. This one is simply a plastic fork taped onto a, um, a gardening pole, one of those plastic gardening poles. This one is a, um, a clicker stick. This one is a back scratcher. And the back scratcher is nice because it already comes with prongs on the end. The only problem with these is that they tend to be a little bit short and you'll often need a little bit more distance. So for this exercise, we are going to have the dog follow the look stick while the trainer is a minimum of three meters or 10 feet away. Let's see if we can have Kimba do that. Good job.